Hey guys, today we're going to be working on a photo album like this. And um, this is 15 years old. It was a little cheap photo album that I had purchased and did a faux finish on it to make it look like leather. And I actually did this with one of um, my cousin's daughters. I, I refer to them as my nieces. But um, it's a great craft for kids, adults, either one. Um, but we're going to get started on how I achieved this look. Just starting with a cheap little photo album here. Uh, the first thing that we did is this is a roll of the brown packing paper from the dollar store. I just tear up little pieces. They just need to be organic, you know, no uh, flat edges or anything. So literally just rip, okay? Um, then you're going to take just regular glue. And I use a paintbrush. We'll just glue on a few pieces so I can show you a couple of tips. I put the glue right in the center. Because we want to avoid getting glue on the other side if possible. Okay, so you're just going to spread this out, spreading from the center outwards. Doesn't have to be much at all. I really probably have too much on here. Just enough to, to adhere it. and just pull it out to the edges and then you're going to be overlapping you can see where I've already started you just put it anywhere on there there's no right or wrong to this okay and you're just going to cover the entire thing there's a little piece that didn't stick down so we'll just put a tad bit of glue alright so anyway, we're not going to do the whole thing. I just wanted to point out how to get that glue on there and try to avoid getting it on this side if possible. Okay, and that just affects the way it takes the paint. And then I also want to show you um, on the opposite side here. This is where I tried putting a base coat of paint down and then using a lunch bag, a paper lunch bag. Um, as you can see, the texture's different. It's smoother instead of being rough like the cheap packing paper. Um, so it must have some kind of a finish on it. Uh, also, it's a lighter color, so it's gonna it's gonna accept the paint just a little bit differently. But you can see where I started it here, and you could definitely do that. Once we start putting the color on on those ripped edges you can see where it's a, just a little bit darker and it starts to give it that um, that leather leathery look, that worn leather, you know. Um, but we're going to uh, come back to this side with the packing paper. What I did, the color brown that I had is burnt umber, so it's a really, really dark brown. This is just a paint that I had in my stash. I watered it down, one part paint, one part water. And once I had these glued down, I just dipped in and then just saturated. I was liberal with it. I did it, you know, spread it out a whole lot. Once I saturated, I just grabbed a paper towel and just, you can either rub it in, you can just daub it, whatever you want to do. Okay, just to get it on there. If um, you want less, just rub, rub, rub until you take a little bit of it off. Okay. And as you can see, this is already dried. I had it sitting in front of a fan so I could have uh, kind of steps on here to show you what it should look like. So, once that would dry, what I would do, you could do one of two things. You can use a high gloss, um, Mod Posh, or you can just use a spray varnish. I had a spray varnish, gives it this really high sheen here. Let me get a little bit closer to the camera so you can see that high sheen in the corner there. That is from uh, me taking it outside and hitting it with the high gloss spray varnish. It's inexpensive, you can get it at Walmart or a hardware store anywhere like that. Once you get the entire thing covered, you can see here what it's going to look like. Now this color is a little bit different from this one. This is a warmer brown. 
but this would be the finished product. This was from the scrapbooking section at either Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Walmart when I used to do them by hand. I had a lot of things like this, and so we just put this on here. But I think it turns out really, really cute. And like I said, this one's 15 years old. Still in great shape. This one uh, does not have Mod Podge on it. It does have the uh, varnish on it. All right. So anyway, I just wanted to share this quick little craft with you. And again, it's great for kids too. Um, she did it along with me and she was probably eight, if that old. Um, you know, we sat in the floor one night and we tore up our pieces and talked and just really had a good time together. And then we just did it uh, over a couple of days. Uh, it would also be a really good craft for Bible school if you had like a five-day Bible school where every night the kids went in and worked on a craft uh, because you would have that dry time in between that you would need. But if you set up a fan and use very little glue, it's going to dry very quickly, okay? Uh, and the same with the paint. Because you're putting the paint, watered-down paint on, but then you're immediately rubbing it off, you're going to be... Um, left with dampness not wetness so it's going to dry quickly for you the spray varnish also dries very very quickly that was just a couple of minutes ago before i started the video that i hit it with that varnish around the varnish i had, did use the glossy mod podge and you know if you wanted younger kids doing the craft you might want to use the mod podge um Otherwise, if it's older kids or adults, I would just use the varnish. You know, it's going to take this just a little bit longer to dry, but it's definitely, definitely doable. Uh, the thing with Mod Podge is even when it's dry, it's still a little tacky until a few days. So, um, you know, I may not, may not want to use the Mod Podge and let them have the project immediately. Uh, wait for that tack to go away so that you get a nice hard surface or you could let them finish everything and just hit it with the the spray hey guys I realized I forgot to show you something when I was editing the video so I just wanted to take a quick minute once you put the glue uh, on this around the edges what you're going to do is just fold it over so it's going to look like this on the inside a uh, very unfinished or a file folder you know whatever you have uh, just cut out a square to fit it and glue it in and then what I did was I took that same paint and I just did a rub all over it okay and it'll just cut it to where it's going to cover all of those raw edges all right so very easy craft this is just a cheap little dollar photo album um, but you can turn it into such a cute photo album so again here's the shot of what it can look like and I hope you guys give this a try if you've done anything similar let me know uh, maybe if you had a different technique to get that faux leather look I'd be interested in seeing it or hearing about it all right I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next week